So again, when you're loading the rifle, just make sure that you're holding the lever. Prevents any mishaps. So this one's gonna be bottom left. So it's just one pellet in this target, bottom left hand side. So, bottom left hand target. So, bottom left hand target. Hello and welcome to the Gun Locker. Now you've just seen me shoot five different springers at 30 meters, wind varying from blustery to calm, and with regards to the rifles, from brilliant quality to not so great quality. And the reason behind this is purely because Lately, I've been getting a lot of flack online with regards to the way I shoot. I've had some individuals state that I don't know how to shoot, that I've never shot a Springer, and that the method of shooting that I use is completely wrong. Um, all I can say to that is, I've been shooting for over 40 years, and that's my preferred method. Now, at the end of the day, you guys, you are going to find a method that suits you. It's as simple as that. There is no, you know, one size fits all. This is very unique. It's unique to you as an individual, to your build, to your length of reach, to the way that you can actually hold your position behind the rifle. It's also dependent on the rifle, how long it is or how short it is, how heavy it is, you know, there are so many different factors but more importantly and this is a common theme if you're going to shoot a springer using an artillery hold now all that means is a loose hold what you don't want to do I'll take this out of the stock is grip the stock and lock it into your shoulder you don't want a tight fixed hold if you do that you're going to be working against the recoil of the gun okay what you want to do is loosen the shoulder I'm not sure if you can see this loosen the shoulder flat the hand and let the forend rest on your hand okay obviously it's in the shoulder it's the position that's suitable for you and so that you can get great eye alignment down the scope and the grip with regards to your pistol grip again whether it's thumbs up or wrap around, that's entirely up to you. It's what feels comfortable. But make sure you don't lock that forend in because when it shoots, there will be a little bit of recoil. Now, everybody's making out online that that recoil is a lot. Springers do kick, but they don't kick much. You might get a little bit of movement like this. And you would have seen that on the videos I've just shown you. Now, Another way of doing this, which is my preferred method, is when you are out shooting on a bench, okay, again you want to have a loose hold. Now there are people telling me that I should put my hand on the rest, put the gun on my hand and shoot that way, because that's going to get me a better um, shot. It isn't. And the reason why that doesn't work for me is because I'm opening up my frame. When I open up my frame, there's a lot more movement. What I like to do, and again, this is personal, it's to me, 
and however you guys decide to shoot that's entirely up to you but I like to keep a closed frame it makes my upper body my core more rigid more stable and if I'm stable here my gun is going to be stable again this is my method my technique this is something that I've been doing for over 40 years and I think you can see that I get results okay for me I am happy if I'm you know if I'm 10 mil out from the bullet 30 meters with winds hey you know that's a kill shot that is definitely a kill shot no two ways about it and it's consistent all right well you guys decide that you want to do that's entirely up to you for me this works anyway just going to move my chair back a little bit so I can get into comfy what you'll see that I'm doing here with my left hand is basically I'm cupping the butt I'm not holding it I'm just cupping it and what that's allowing me to do um, and not only am I cupping it what I tend to do is I tend to grab a bit of clothing and secure my hand into my shoulder now all that does is basically forms a U shape it keeps my rifle upright when I'm shooting there's no waggle okay then I simply put my hand around the pistol grip take a shot and that rifle is free to move now whether it's resting on my hand here or whether it's on the bench on a rest makes no difference to the fore to the fore end because that will still move backwards and forwards okay you'll see shooters with gloves they might use that glove as a rest and again that's just to make sure that you've got free movement between the fore end and whatever it's resting on yeah for me what I like to do with my left hand like I say is just basically cup the butt I'm not gripping it I'm not holding it I'm just forming a cup so that butt can sit nicely against my shoulder I then lock into my clothing to make sure that my hand doesn't move but this is still free to move okay backwards and forwards into the shot take the shot thank you very much for me that's a method that works an artillery hold is basically a loose hold that's all it is so guys at the end of the day however you shoot however your preferred method it's something that you're going to develop with time you will make minor adjustments you will learn to shoot your way and providing you're hitting the target does it really matter does it have to be a precise science or can it just be I'm out I'm shooting I'm having fun and that's it okay that's that's what it comes down to so that's my method explained it's very simple it works for me it may work for you if it doesn't it doesn't you know hey at the end of the day we're just having a bit of a laugh and that's what it should be all about so guys until the next video thank you very much and uh, take care stay safe shoot safe and uh, yeah I'll, I'll see you soon